Alexandra Gormajapova was sentenced to seven years for giving an interview to Ukrainian media in which she said that 17 Russian soldiers were locked up in a commandant's office on the territory of the self-proclaimed Luhansk People's Republic after refusing to fight. The woman herself is now outside Russia. In February this year, the Russian Interior Ministry put her on a wanted list. After this, a case was opened and the judgment was handed down today. Of course, Alexandra doesn't agree with this and doesn't recognize the decision of the fake government and the dictator Putin. Her lawyer was present. The case will be appealed so that then it will be possible to show evidence of the crimes of the authoritarian regime of Putin in international courts. Despite the fact that the Free Buryatia Foundation was previously recognized as a foreign agent and on the 1st of September this year it was declared undesirable in Russia, it continues its anti-war campaign Buryats Against War. Experts note that Buryats do not want to kill Ukrainians as much as they do not want to die for Putin's ambition. Ukraine is undoubtedly a victim of aggression and deserves all possible help and sympathy. Everything that is happening there is truly terrible and can hardly fit into the head of an ordinary person. What kind of denazification of Ukraine can we talk about if I was not even able to rent a flat in Moscow because I am a Buryat? In any conflict, people felt it necessary to point out my non-Russian origin as if it were some kind of of disadvantage. Vladislav Sibhileev, native of Buryatia, quoted by the Telegram channel Free Buryatia Foundation. The people of Buryatia have been fighting for their independence for 20 years, and with the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine and the mobilization announced by Putin, this issue has become even more urgent, experts say. I I have recently spoken to the people of Buryatia through private channels, and I can say that dissatisfaction with the Moscow authorities is growing. And this is the desire, the understanding that the problem is that Buryatia is part of Russia, and people are forced to die in the war in Ukraine. So the understanding of independence is getting wider and wider. As of March 3, 2023, at least 583 servicemen from Buryatia have died at the front, writes people of Baikal Media. We recorded about 1,100 men dead. We don't keep a list of dead ethnic Buryats, but we dare to assume that some of them are ethnic Buryats. As for anti-war sentiments, I myself left Buryatia seven months ago, and back then there were anti-war sentiments, and people went out to rely against mobilization. And now there are anti-war sentiments in society, but no one goes out to pickets, because under Putin's dictatorship, it's difficult to do. Most of the population of Buryatia understands that the war against Ukraine is an international crime. However, the Kremlin regime has left no opportunity for Buryatians to openly engage in anti-war activities, experts say. The only thing people can still do today is hide from mobilization in order to not become complicit in war crimes. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Yulia Hranovska, UATV News.